Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into today's show. So I said yesterday that there was a chance that Taylor and Travis would make their award show debut, perhaps their red carpet debut at the iHeartRadio Awards on Monday night in Los Angeles was not true. In fact, I feel like a lot of people thought that they would go to this award show together. They were back in Los Angeles after spending Easter with Travis's brother and his family in Philadelphia, but it didn't end up happening. Though Taylor did win the big award of the night. She won Artist of the Year, but instead of going to accept her award in person, she sent a video message instead. Um, thanking the fans, thanking iHeart for their support. She also did say, you know, there's a lot of exciting things coming up. This is this is what she said in her video. Quote, we have so many exciting things ahead of us. I'm continuing on with the tour. And most importantly, I have a brand new album called The Tortured Poets Department, which comes out on April 19th. I cannot wait to share it with you. So as we know, album coming out very soon. Uh, I do have to say that in the video, if you've seen the video of her accepting the award, she does look very tan. So you can tell that she's been on vacation and enjoying her time in the sun. Um, so we're, we're, we're just going to have to wait another who knows when before we get our first Taylor and Travis um, public event or red carpet debut together. I still think my money is still on the Met Gala. I I kind of can't see a world in which Travis Kelsey doesn't go to the Met Gala this year. This guy is obviously incredibly famous right now, and he also loves fashion a lot. So it's just sort of hard to believe that he wouldn't be there. Um, Patrick Mahomes went last year, and Taylor has been a number of times in the past herself. I know it's a few days before she restarts her tour again in Paris, I believe, but I just, I think that's kind of a more iconic place to have your red, red carpet debut as opposed to like no shade to the iHeart Radio Awards, but different levels, right? So my money is still, is still on the Met Gala, but we'll have to wait and see. Speaking of the Torture Poets Department, again, we're just mere weeks away, less than three weeks away, almost two weeks away from the release of that album. And in honor of the new album coming out, Sirius XM is going to be launching a dedicated Taylor Swift channel, channel 13 to be specific, um, from April 7th to May 6th. So just under a month long or probably about a month long. If you ha have a Sirius XM account, if, you're, if you have it in your car, you can listen to this dedicated Taylor Swift channel for the whole month. They're going to be playing Era's tour favorites, all Taylor version songs, vault track songs, live tracks, bonus tracks. Um, and because Sirius knows what to do and they know that 13 is the magic number, the 13th day of the channel being live will be April 19th, which is the day that the Torture Poets Department will be released for the world, um, which is fun. I'm actually kind of surprised that Taylor doesn't already have a dedicated channel. There's lots of other artists who have dedicated Sirius XM channels. Like I believe Springsteen has his own channel. And it's a little hard to believe that Taylor, who's like the biggest star right now and musically like the biggest star, it's hard to believe that she doesn't already have a Sirius XM channel. But this is very smart. I think this is like a good marketing tool for everybody involved. Um, and I don't have a serious account, so I won't be able to really partake in this. But if you do, you should definitely check it out. And then finally, our last piece of news of the day um, is Kylie Kelsey dishing, talking a little bit about Taylor and Travis's relationship. So Kylie, who is amazing, by the way, I think we can all agree. Kylie Kelsey is like one of the, just the best out there. I just, every time I see her on my TV screen, every time I see her on social media, whether it's something that she's posted or an, an interview or anything, I just, I love her so much. I, I want her to be, I don't know what she wants to do. Like, I don't know if she has career aspirations to be on TV or be in TV, but I feel like she would be so good on TV. And I actually, and we'll get into what she said about Taylor and Travis, but I actually saw someone say on um, social media that Kylie, because Kylie herself was a field hockey player in college. She's very athletic loves sports herself. And somebody said that Kylie should 
go to Paris for the Olympics and be a correspondent for NBC for the Olympics and like cover the event, uh, which I think would be so great. And she'd be so good at it. And so I don't know if, if, I mean, if anyone from NBC is watching this or Kylie herself, you need to make, make this happen because I would love to see Kylie at the Olympics. I think that would be so fun. But anyway, Kylie was on the Today Show talking about her um, the autism foundation that she works with to raise money to help kids with autism. Um, and of course, as always, they had to ask about Travis. Um, and Kylie, being the professional she is, said, quote, Ultimately, if Travis is happy, we're happy. We are always cheering on Uncle Trav. It's such a treat to be able to do that on and off the field, but it's been amazing. Now, as I mentioned, word on the street was that Taylor and Travis got to spend Easter in Philadelphia with Kylie and Jason and their three kids. I believe this was the first time that Taylor met um, or got to meet Jason's kids, Travis's nieces, which I'm sure was a lot of fun for all involved. Also, can you imagine like being a four or five, five, like five-ish kid and be like, yeah, my uncle's coming over with his girlfriend, Taylor Swift. <laughs> like Wyatt Kelsey, who's the oldest of the daughters, had to go to school on Monday probably. And everyone would be like, how was your Easter? How was your Easter? And Wyatt was like, my, my Easter was pretty great. We had, we had Taylor Swift over. Like that's, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I think highly, I think the whole Kelsey family has handled this attention very, very, very well. They just know what to say. They know how to handle it. They don't seem freaked out. They don't, don't seem overwhelmed. They're not shying away from the spotlight. Like they're not afraid of it. And I think what's great too, and for Kylie's sake, like she's using her platform that she has now to make a difference and to make change and to bring attention to something like the Autism Foundation that she works with, which I think is fantastic. Um, so I'm here for more Kylie content. I'm here for more Kylie and Taylor Swift content. Um, and I just love it. I love it. Also, if you're a New Heights podcast listener, then you know that Kylie Kelsey has been the best guest that they have ever had on that podcast. She it's fantastic. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.